Okay, so a couple of simple things here and a couple of things you may wish to play about with. So uh, I've already shown you how to change your background. So all you're going to be doing is going to the bottom of your overlays window and hide and show one of your three background options. If you want to bring in your own background, I've got one called Artboard 12, which shows I've been doing it in Photoshop. But this is where you want it to sit, below the motion background, if you want that motion to come in. So it's as simple as that if you want to change your background and add in something totally different and the motion background will still have an effect on that particular uh, element. So sit that at the top there rather than right at the very bottom. Otherwise, it's just going to pick out the highest one in the scene. Then the motion background itself, you might want to play about with that entirely up to you. But I guess we're getting to the advanced user, uh, people who can't stop tinkering like myself. So if you did want to do that, then you could come to the motion background and click on the gear icon for motion background, which is what I'm going to do now. And you won't see me actually doing this, um, but you'll note that the opacity is set quite low over here. I'll show it there. Um, and the luminosity is also set as the blend mode and I can go change those. So you'll not see me changing them. But if you look at the effects in the background, I'm just going to move the opacity uh, right up here and you can start to really see that looped movie in the background so you can get a really dramatic um, effect going on by changing the opacity on that background movie so I don't want it to be dramatic I just want it to be fairly gentle so I have that set at sort of 40 or something like that and maybe even a bit less than that if I also want to change the luminosity to a different blend mode and again you're not going to see that but it's where it says luminosity um, I'm going to change that to for instance color and that will have a minor effect but if I choose something like divide it's going to have a more dramatic effect or exclusion or subtract or difference so some will have a greater effect than others but you can go and have a play about with these and see what effect it has on the background so some of them will um, do dramatic things other than uh, will do less dramatic things so if I go choose another one down here let's choose subtract yeah so it, some of them make them brighter some make them lighter and again you can change the opacity um, on things to have a dramatic effect alongside of those so if you changed it to a lighter mode, then maybe you'd want to uh, change the opacity as well. Um, up to you. It really is sort of a playing about exercise once it comes to this. So I'm going to change that back to luminosity so we know where we are, are where we started off with. And I'm going to show you something else that you could potentially do if you really wanted to. So the other element here is that I have brought in a rectangle, which is currently invisible at the top of my show in background here and that rectangle um, I am going to make visible now and I've set it to be uh, a pink or magenta color so let's just have a look at what that looks like so suddenly my background has gone pink stroke magenta and if I want to change that to another color uh, I'm going to now pick a different color it's not going to change on the little pop-up because that's just a cutout but let's change that to orange or let's change it to purple or red so you can start to if you have certain corporate flavors of color start to incorporate those as well and dependent on what I do with the opacity so if I choose a green one there and I move the opacity up or down on that particular rectangle it's going to get brighter or less bright dependent on what you do with it now you can also change the blend mode here as well so if I choose the blend mode to be something different on this then you can really have some dramatic effects once you're combining the color block along with the blend mode so dependent on what I choose I can really really dramatically change what's happening uh, on the screen so uh, a combination of colors and blend mode will do all sorts of weird and wonderful things so if you want to experiment you can so suddenly you've not just got uh, three choices of background by adding in a rectangle 
and then playing about with the colors on that then you can do all sorts of things you can also put a gradient fill on the rectangle i guess you could even put motion on it as well and go really bonkers but i don't know that i can recommend that but you can effectively change your colors if you make that solid color and uh, a 100 percent uh, opacity it will pretty much change the background to whatever color you choose so if i again choose a magenta background or a cyan background it will very much pick up on those colors but because it's a blend and in this case uh, multiply is what i've actually got selected uh, the blend will blend with the colors so if i choose something totally different it can uh, dramatically and in some cases badly affect things so just go and play about see which ones uh, suit you uh, in my case i think i i preferred where we were in the beginning with with that one so i've still got um, a cyan look and flavor to it um, but uh, quite different from my original background so that is obviously going to then apply to any of the scenes so if i come back to my countdown timer then suddenly i've got the cyan ish look and feel going on and if i come to my intro then that's what i'm going to get in the background so people who want to change colors then then you can go playing uh, about with those things uh, entirely up to you uh, how far you want to take that and it will uh, apply all over the place once you put it in so that's showing in background uh, for more creative options for those who love to play and tinker like myself uh, have some fun see you later bye for now cheerio